Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to extract some company info directly from the SEC filings via the SEC API. Now you can utilize the script in various ways, either to extract tickers, if you need a list of tickers and company names, which also includes what exchanges they trade on. You can also get a list of recent filings for each company, along with location and SIC codes or industry codes, which is what I'll be showing you how to extract in the script. So here's some of the packages we're going to require. If you watched my previous video, I explained that we need a sign in order to make a get request, and that's done by entering a company website and an email address with the same domain. So that's basically what you need to enter in order for you to get the script to work. So I'm gonna start off by reading some CIK codes, and I'm gonna get the full list via the SEC. So I'm going to read JSON. I'm going to make that as a data frame. So if we take a look at info, in order for us to make requests, the CIK string needs to be 10 digits. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these with zeros in order for us to have 10 digits. So let's go to our script. I'm going to run the following block and make that as a data frame. Now if we take a look at info again, now we have a complete CIK number. Now in order for us to get data from the SEC, we need to pass the CIK code, but I created a function so that we just need to enter a ticker and it will just look up the CIK code automatically. So that'll be the very next function called get CIK. So again, just enter the symbol and it'll retrieve the CIK code automatically. Now if we scroll up, so when I get the data from the SEC, it'll contain a SIC number. And I went ahead and got a list of SIC numbers and what group they belong to or what industry they belong to, which will group by major group, which is similar to the sector and also what division they are for. So I'll go ahead and read that table in. So in these functions, I'm just going to pass in the SIC codes and it'll retrieve either the major group or division. So if we take a look at that table, so here are the SIC codes, the office, the industry title, uh, the major group and division. So I'm just gonna focus on these last two groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and I'll run these two blocks. All right, so the next function will actually retrieve the data from the SEC. So we start off by getting our CIK number by passing in the ticker. We're gonna make our get request by adding some headers, which include this accept coding and the user agent. So as an example, I'm gonna set the ticker equal to Google. So I'm gonna run this block. I'm gonna extract the info from the page and convert it as raw data. And this will return a list. So if we take a look at this raw data, so we have our CIK number, entity type, the SIC code, which is the code we will be using, a description of that SIC code. I think these are true or false for insider transactions, company name, which is alphabet, the tickers, which include both classes of shares. We also get a list of exchanges. So it appears it's NASDAQ for both. The entity number. We also get when the fiscal year ends for this company, state of incorporation, also addresses, phone, and former names, if any. And now this very last element contains a list of filings. So let's open up the recent filings. So within this list, we see that we have a bunch of information we can use to extract company filings. So let's continue on with our script. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract company info by getting the major group and division. And I'm gonna combine everything as a data frame, which includes the ticker, the company name, CIK code, entity type, exchanges, the tickers which the CIK includes, the SIC number, the major group, division, and the SIC description as well. So let's go ahead and run this block. I'm going to format the column names as well. And if we take a look at that data frame, so this is what the table looks like. All right, so now let's pass in all the tickers into this function. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this function and run it. I'm going to get the unique tickers from my table. So I'm going to pass all those tickers as a list into our function that we just created. And then I'm going to use our bind list to our bind all the data together and convert it as a data frame. So I'll go ahead and run this as well. All right. So once that's done running, let's take a look at the list. So out of the 12,000 different tickers, we were able to get approximately 23,000. And that's because some of these companies also have preferred shares or different classes of shares such as Berkshire Hathaway. The reason I wanted to get this data is because I will be grouping these by major group and industry. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how to make a heat map so that we see what groups or industries are actually moving and in what direction. So stay tuned for that. But this concludes the video, guys. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description area where you can find the script. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.